Hello. In this video, I'm going to be introducing and demonstrating the installation of our new, uh, new redesigned half-inch UHMW on a Polaris uh, 1000 four-seater, 2017 model. So we've redesigned all of our half-inch for this machine. Um, we now have the plates, instead of just butting up together, they now overlap each other, which makes for a lot smoother transition. Um, another big advantage of our plates, especially versus our competition, is you don't have to drill 100 holes in your machine to mount these skids up. You know, the competition, you're drilling, you know, holes all the way down your frame, and then they're using a self-tapping bolt to mount anything. Now, the problem with that is, is A, drilling 100 holes in your machine isn't much fun, um, and B, the wall thickness of this tubing isn't that thick. So when you drill a hole through it and then you use a self-tapping bolt, like most of the competition does, um, each bolt is really only engaged by about one thread. That's why they have to have so many. Now, for Ricochet, we've been in the business uh, doing skid plates for about 30 years or so now. And so we have a lot of hardware that we've developed over the years. You know, our bar clamps, our tubing clamps, you know, we have different size clamps for the different size tube and whatnot. So that allows us to uh, make up a UHMW set, which does not require drilling a bunch of holes in your machine. Um, gives you a great, great, uh, strong installation. You know, you got good thread engagement and just, it's just really an all, all around better deal. On this machine, there are four points that do need to be drilled out. Two of them, they're existing holes. They just need to be opened up to run a bolt and then put a nut on the backside and then two holes will be drilled uh, uh, fresh. But we will, I'll demonstrate that once we get to that point. You don't want to do that until you really get the skids on. So first of all, let's start with the, the rear plate. It's easier to start just the way the plates overlap to start from the rear and work your way to the front. So I'm just gonna hang this plate by the cup washers. These are just picking up factory mounts. There's already threads there and everything, so you don't need to do anything there. Okay, so that's just hung uh, the three cup washers or whatnot. Now the two points that need to be drilled fresh are going to be these two holes right here. But we're not going to do that until we get all the plates on and then we'll go ahead and drill those out. So we can go ahead and start the clamps for this particular plate. Okay, now that that plate's hung, we can go ahead and we can, uh, start, start the other hardware. Um, this rear plate takes four clamps. They are all marked the B clamp. And then you have your, your bolts, the heavy duty washer, and then these, uh, the bushing on here. And the bushing is just to prevent you from over tightening and actually pulling the bolt through the UHMW through the plastic. Um, we, it will compress. We figured it, you know, it has about a, a, six, a 30 second to a 16th of an inch of compression. So it'll hold the plate tight, but without this bushing, you can still just keep tightening that bolt and it will actually just pull itself right through the plastic. So this is, it's essentially just a stop. So you can get the plate tight, but you can't keep going after the fact. So the ones with the long bushings, those are going to go to the rear. The, uh, the short bushings are going to go to the front. And actually it might be easier to put these clamps in place first, these front ones. I've got this plate fairly loose, so I can kind of pry it down to get in there. It's going to go around the frame and there's a, a channel that's actually got the engine mounts. Uh, a little bracket, you'll kind of see that where, where it lies in place there. And then you, so you just slide it in, get it around the frame, and then we'll line it up with the hole to start the bolts. Yeah, this would have been easier if I would have done it first. Hung these clamps first, but this will work. Okay. Okay, so those are roughly in place. Now I can go ahead and start the bolts. Anything that, uh, any bolts that are going into any, any of the clamps or whatnot that we provide, the uh, nuts have a locking feature on them. And so you want to put a little anti-seize on that. That is very important. It's going to help, help the bolt go in in the first place. And then it's also going to keep it uh, from you know, getting corroded and rusted and whatnot. 
So if you, uh, you know, need to service your machine or, you know, pull them off for, for whatever reason down the line, um, they should come out okay for you. They shouldn't be all corroded and gnarly. But like I say, it's very important to put anti-seize on. It doesn't take much, just a little smear on the first couple threads. So again, I'm just gonna line the clamp up with the slot and then get the bolt started. And I'm leaving everything loose uh, for now. We're gonna leave everything loose until we get all the plates, all the belly plates mounted. And then uh, that way you can still have some adjustability in it, you know, move things around make sure everything lines up correctly. If you, uh, you tighten this plate down and you move on to the next one or whatnot, by the time you get to the top, you're, you're kind of locked, you know. Um, you lose a lot of adjustability that way. So like I say, we're gonna leave everything loose. These rear clamps just slide around the frame. They're super easy to get to, a little easier than the ones we just did. Again, just line it up with the hole, start the bolt. Okay, now we can uh, move on to the next plate up. Okay, so we got that plate on. Um, like I say, everything's loose, you know, it can still move around for adjustability. Um, before we put the next plate on is where we actually need to do uh, a little bit of drilling. And it's gonna be these two holes right here. They're already existing holes. We just need to open them up to get a bolt through. They're not quite big enough from the factory to get the bolt through. So we're gonna just open them up and use a quarter inch drill bit. Okay, so that's it there. So half of the drilling for this installation is, is done now. If it was uh, some of our competition, you'd be about a tenth of the way done drilling. Okay, so after we've drilled those out, there's this bar bracket that we're supplying you. And it's got a piece of uh, double-sided tape on the back. And the double-sided tape, all it's for is just to hold that in place so it doesn't want to, you know, fall back off the frame for you. Once, you know, the tape isn't securing anything, it's just holding the bar in place. Once you get the bolts through, it's going to sandwich everything down and pinch everything down and it'll be, you know, like it's a factory thread essentially. So you're gonna peel off the coating of tape, expose the sticky side, and you're just gonna line it up with those holes. And stick it down. It might not be a bad idea to just take a bolt and run it through and make sure you can catch the thread. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so like I say, just draw out those holes and then, you know, attach this bracket just with a double-sided tape and that's just to hold it in place so you can get the bolt started. Um, you can't really get your arm in there to hold it or get the, the bracket, the clamp in there um, when the plates are on. So that's why I need to do that first. So now we can go ahead and install the second plate up. Um, I've already hung the two clamps right here. Um, they just kind of go in front of this triangle, uh, dust it on the frame.
Okay, so there's the three rear mounts done. These two need to be drilled out, but like I said, we're gonna do that very last. Um, so now we can go ahead and start the bolts for these two clamps. And again, you wanna put anti-seize on those. Okay, so there's the two clamps started for the rear. And you'll see that we have two more mounts right here. And those are gonna take this uh, square nut plate. It's gonna be a spacer and then the longer bolt with the bushing. You're gonna take the, uh, the nut plate and it's gonna, there's a little channel right in front of the uh, trailing arm mount here. And that uh, bracket's gonna fit in there. Anti-seize on the bolt. You're gonna take this large spacer and it's gonna slide between the plate and that bracket. And then you're gonna run this bolt up through. You might have to kind of hold that nut plate down to start the thread. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so that plate is roughly, roughly installed, loosely installed. I say we're keeping everything loose for now. So now we can go ahead and move on to the next plate up. And I usually grab this one right in the middle first. It's just a factory mount. Okay, and now we can go through and start all the other uh, factory mounts here. On the overlap where the two plates meet up, it's going to be your longer, longer hex bolts, not the, uh, not the flange ones, the shorter flange ones. One more up top here. Okay, so that's the start of all the cup washers and now we can uh, go ahead and start uh, installing the clamps. And with all these clamps, you can see we have an access hole next to uh, each mounting hole, each mounting slot. So you can put the clamp through the access hole and then just slide it over with your finger. Line it up with the slot and start the bolt. Okay, so that's all the uh, hardware for that plate. So now we can move on to the next one. This one, I'm just gonna mount it using the uh, cup washer in the center of the plate. Okay, now on this one, it's probably easier to mount the, uh, the uh, front four clamps first. It can be a little tight if the plate's uh, seated down, to, you know, snug or whatnot when you get all the other hardware in. So I like to do those front four first. 
Just gives you a little bit more room to work. Um, I, ow. Watch that tire when you stand up. I always uh, start with the outer one. It's a little bit tighter to get to. The inboard one's a little easier. So like I say, I start with that outboard one first. These front clamps are uh, the uh, one and a quarter clamp. They're a little bit different than the ones we installed on the frame there. This tube's a little bit smaller, so a different size clamp. Okay, so there's the front four. Um, let's do this middle one here. That one's a B clamp. It's the biggest of the clamps. It's the same size we used on the rear. put this through the hole around the tube and then just slide it down line it up Okay, so that takes care of all the uh, mounting hardware started, with the exception of these two. But like I said, we're going to do those last. So at this point, I you pretty much come back to the rear of the machine, kind of pick up where we started from initially. And basically, you just want to make sure that all these cup washers are going to sit down, flush in that counter bore. Okay, so that's all the cup washers tightened down. So now we go through and tighten all the uh, the eight millimeter bolts. I recommend doing it by hand, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to use an air ratchet. One thing you want to kind of do when you uh, tighten these down is to kind of hold the clamp just to make sure you don't rotate it off the bars that's tightening. Um, it's usually not an issue, but I have had it happen before. Kind of hold it, it'll just hold it in place until it snugs up and then it's trapped, you know, it can't go anywhere after that. And when tightening these, you know, that space or that bushing that we put in there, that keeps you from over tightening it. So basically just tighten it until it's tight and then you're good to go. So you can see I'm using this air ratchet and I'm just kind of stopping when it stops.
Okay, so that just leaves us the two holes that we need to drill out. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to transfer punch it. You're just gonna take a transfer punch. And you're gonna kinda of wanna come dead center of that slot. And you're just gonna hit it. You got two of those to do. Okay, and now we can go ahead and drill. And you'll want to use again the same drill that you used up here, a quarter inch. Okay, so those are drilled out. That's the only drilling you have to do on this whole set. Just those four spots there. So it's a lot better than, a, like I say, a hundred holes like the competition's having you do. So you're gonna take your, uh, your bolts, your cup washers, and the washers in the nut. still here that's always fun and you can actually reach around the side to start these it's a little bit of working by braille to just run it through and then find the bolt you're gonna put a washer on top of it and then you're gonna follow it up with a nut and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side And then you'll need a uh, 10 millimeter wrench. And then your 10 millimeter socket that you're using before. And just grab that nut with the wrench and tighten it down. Okay, so that completes the uh, installation of the belly skids here. If you uh, just bought the UHMW and uh, not the and not the aluminum rock sliders or anything, there's a couple more parts to install here. Okay, the first one is this strip. And it's gonna go right over here on this trailing arm mount. Just gonna pick up the factory holes with these six millimeter bolts and washers. And then the rear is an eight millimeter and a nut plate. And again, you wanna put 
anti-seize on that. And the nut plate's just gonna slide in. There's a hole right here, slide it down into this channel. I'll just tighten that one first. And then go ahead and tighten down the uh, six millimeter bolts. And there's that, uh, that strip there to protect the uh, trailing arm mount. It's the same for both sides, so I'm just gonna do it once for the video. And then there's one more piece here. Okay, and we got one more piece here. This is gonna come in here and close up this gap, this open area that we don't have protected yet. The uh, front mounts via clamp. go and then the rear is just this nut plate and it's just going to slip right into this channel back here Tighten that down. That takes care of that open space there. And again, it's the exact same thing on the other side. So for the video, I'm just going to do it the one time. So that takes care of all the belly skids. That just gives us one more piece to mount. That's this uh, top piece up here. Okay, so this one it mounts with a bar clamp in the rear, and then it picks up these factory holes that are here, but they're not, they not threaded. They're dimpled, but they're not threaded. So that's where we've got a, a self-tapping bolt for those ones. So we're gonna, uh, sometimes it's actually easier to start the thread before you put the plate up there. So I'm just gonna take this bolt and just get it going and start that thread. Once you feel it kind of free up, that means you've gotten all the way through it. So you can go ahead and back it out. And we'll do the same over on this side. This makes it a little easier to start the plate rather than trying to hold the plate up there and get the thread started. And so I kind of prefer to do it this way. Okay, now we can take our bar clamp. It's just gonna slide in through the frame just like that. Put a little anti-seize on these bolts. Another thing, this plate, it comes preformed. You don't have to heat it up or, you know, force it into place or anything like that. It all comes preformed, ready to install. I know some of the manufacturers out there, they'll uh, kind of machine a little bit of a groove in it and you have to heat it up and kind of form it yourself, but we take care of that for you.
Okay, now it's going to be your self-tapping bolt with a lock washer and then the cup washer. Okay, both of those front ones are tight, so I'm going to go through and just tighten up the rear. And that's it. That's a uh, complete UHM, UHMW skid plate on the Razor 1000 4 seater. Again, there's only four spots that need to be drilled out for this whole installation. Um, there's no self-tapping bolts going into the frame. These are the only two self-tapping bolts and they have a dimple, so they actually do get some thread engagement. But like I say, it's uh, our hardware, our tubing clamps, our bar clamps, makes this an extremely solid set as far as mounting wise goes. And like I say, you don't have to drill 100 holes in your frame. I mean, you can imagine how long that would take to install a set having to do this. This was probably done and roughly about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. You know, granted, I've done a few of them, so I'm familiar with it, but ease of installation, um, good solid mounting. Um, you know, that's a, that's a solid plate that will serve you and your machine well. Thanks for watching.